What if your entire office, your cinema, and your creative studio could fit right here? I've been trying out something called the In-Air AI Spatial Computer, and it's one of the most interesting gadgets that I've used in a while. This is not just another pair of AR glasses. What makes this stand out is that it is a complete setup. The In-Air 2 Pro AR glasses, the In-Air Pod, which acts as the brain of the system, the In-Air Touchboard for navigation, and some clever accessories like the In-Air Wakey and the Hub Charger. Together, they turn into a portable office, a home cinema, and a creative studio in one case that I can carry anywhere. And what I like is that the glasses, the pod and that touchboard don't feel like separate gadgets. They kind of feel like a whole system. The hardware works hand in hand with the software, so interacting is smooth and natural. So let me just walk you through what this is like to actually use. The first thing that hit me was no laptop, no heavy bag, and no hunting for any sort of like power socket. It's just the glasses and the pod. The glasses themselves are pretty light. They're only 80 grams. And what they can do is project a screen that's almost 135 inches right in front of your face. And because they run at 120 hertz, everything is fluid. And you can even set up to six virtual windows. And it feels less like juggling tabs and more like being in one of those personal control rooms you would see in like police spy films. You can resize or move screens wherever you want, draft a dock, keep an email window open, and you can even have YouTube playing all at the same time. Now, the main way to navigate is through its touchboard, and it is really simple and pretty intuitive. It's two finger scrolling, three to zoom in or push things away. And if you don't like using it, you can switch to gestures, voice, and a regular keyboard, or even head tracking. The pod itself is surprisingly small. Like you can have a look, 158 grams. It's got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery in it. And on a single charge, this can give you up to four hours. Now, powering it is a Qualcomm 7 Series 8-core chip running Edge AI, which basically means it can handle most things on its own and you do not need a PC. There's also this always-on smart voice AI, which first of all, I just thought, okay, yeah, another AI assistant, but this one is genuinely useful. What it does is it reacts to what's on your screen, which feels a little bit more helpful than the usual set timer type of stuff. And then you have In-Air OS, which is built specifically for spatial computing. So it's not like a reworked version of a mobile OS. And I think this is why this feels so natural and just easy to use. It supports cloud, streaming, even real-time 3D conversion of regular content, which I will show you in a little bit. But even offline, all the essentials still work. What's really nice, though, is its integration with Google Workspace and other kind of productivity tools. And this feels like it can actually help you in your day-to-day -day life and not just show off in some sort of like tech demos. It genuinely feels useful. Now, I mentioned something called the In-Air Wakey a little earlier on. And what this does is that this lets you wake up your PC back at home and stream it directly into your glasses. Now, for me, this is pretty important because all my big files I keep at home on my computer. And the fact that I don't have to take my computer with me means that I'm probably not ever going to lose those files if I was to lose my PC. Now, when it comes to the glasses themselves, they are built for privacy. It has electrochromic lenses, which basically blocks prying eyes. And the audio is directed so only you can hear it. And even better, the glasses auto blackout when connected to a PC. So no one can sneak a peek over your shoulder at what you're doing. But none of that is important if these glasses are not comfortable to wear and they are because they're only about 80 grams I feel like these glasses are some of the most comfortable AR glasses that I've used for a while and I've just gone hours with having these on my face and having no problems at all but let me talk to you about what these glasses can do that isn't just productivity and when you use these just for entertainment this is where I was really surprised in has this real-time 3d conversion powered by AI and that means anything you watch so Netflix YouTube TikTok or even old downloaded videos instantly becomes stereoscopic 3D and it is smooth and almost no delay. I didn't need any special 3D files and any clunky VR headsets because it all happens on the glasses and I even started watching TikTok in 3D and it's weird but like I now think that the only way to watch TikTok is in 3D with these glasses. But I have a favorite feature here and it's the My Phone feature. Every picture that you take can become a 3D memory with more depth than even Apple's spatial photos. So imagine reliving family trips, concerts, or maybe even just selfies in three-dimensional space. It's pretty cool. And this is why I really like them because it's kind of like having a private cinema with you, whether you're like lying in bed, you're sat on the sofa, or you're on a flight. And the best thing about this is it has surround-like sound and there's no prying eye, so no one can see what you're watching. 
Sure, there are definitely other AR glasses that exist, but what makes in-air different is it's an entire ecosystem. The glasses, pod, touchboard, wakey, and the hub are all designed to work together. That is what gives the wow factor. It's both a productivity tool and an entertainment system all in one. And then you have those unique touches that I just haven't seen anywhere else. Real-time 3D conversion, remote PC wake and stream, and multi-window AR workspaces. The best thing is that you're not locked in because it works across Android, iPhone, Windows and Mac so you can use anything you have with this. I feel like it's a nice balance of productivity, mobility and versatility and it doesn't feel like a concept like every feature on these work and it's really pretty impressive. If I compare these glasses to anything else that I've tried, these really do stand out because of its six monitors, remote desktop, advanced built-in AI, and it's kind of like the best class 3D capabilities that I've seen. So that's been my experience with in-air and I've been using them for the last couple of weeks. But if you are curious to find out a little bit more, then why don't you just check the link in the description and you can find out everything that you would need to know.